saw those majestic mountains, the crystal blue skies, and the greatest snow on Earth. It's no wonder why every winter, hundreds of thousands of skiers from around the world descend upon Utah. But before hitting the slopes, you've got to stock up on all that expensive ski gear. And it's the perfect opportunity for a seasonal scam. The old ski shop ripoff. So we've come to Lifthouse Sports in Salt Lake City, just a few miles from some of the best ski runs in the country. It's early morning and already our crew is running cables, perfecting camera angles. A hair left, 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 stop. And miking up this actress, <laughs> yeah. who's about to play a brazen beat. Oh yeah, they're not seeing any of that. <laughs> yeah. How will people react to this tomboy taking a five-finger discount? As she browses through the store, a few things start falling off the shelves and right into her bag. It only takes moments for this father and son to notice. She steals and steals again and again. Within just a couple of minutes, father and son sound the alarm to the manager. That girl right there has got a bag full of your merchandise. But he is also an actor we've hired. It's that girl right there. Excuse me, miss. They go from reporting the crime to chasing the suspect. Miss, can you come here, please? This gentleman says he saw you putting stuff in your bag. Yeah, I saw you stuffing up full of stuff, so I don't know if it's, you know. Yeah, did you see, did you see it too? Yeah. Okay, cool. There's two of us. Okay, well, sorry. Like, I don't know what you guys are talking about. So, I'm just trying to call the cops because you but instead of the cops, it's, <laughs> what would you do? I'm John Quinone. You shouldn't steal. That's the truth, yeah. It's a lesson our scheming thief is about to learn over and over. There you go, I'll just open her backpack. What did, you, what did she take? Her backpack's full. That's brutal, watch somebody just rob you. But no one goes as far as this next man. I saw a dog. I saw a dog. We tell our actress to claim she's innocent. Excuse me, miss. Uh -huh. Um, this gentleman right here says he uh he saw you lift some stuff. I don't know what you're talking about. But the man and now his family are not backing down. Got her goggles in there. She was in there too. And now they're even willing to arrest her themselves. I'm just gonna leave, like. Well, if you do, we can do a set of arrest. So, stop now, empty your pack, and just give them the stuff back. Time to explain to these brave citizens that there really is no need to bust her. I'm John Quinones. <laughs> this is part of what would you do? Oh my God. <laughs> Are you okay? You were gonna make a citizen's arrest? Yeah, it's the right thing to do. I mean, she was walking out with, had to be close to $1,000 worth of stuff. There's a lot of stuff. Clearly, people are not shy about blowing the whistle on a plainly dressed tomboy. But what if we switch things up a bit? And now the thief is a very attractive beauty queen. In fact, this actress was the first runner-up at Miss Utah, USA. This man notices her immediately. But it's not the stealing he's worried about. It's her choice of items. That is nice for you. Oh, those are nice. She then models for Should him. Should I try them on for you? Mm -hmm. Do these look good? <laughs> good face. Oh, thank any, you. Any glasses? Do you think if I... And she continues stealing right in front of him. He clearly seems smitten, but will that keep him quiet? Don't say anything, okay? Okay? Okay, okay. Almost five minutes go by without a word. Jeremy could go up to him and say, uh, I thought I saw him steal something. Sir? I thought I saw that girl take something. Did you see anything? I don't know, yeah. That's good. Now, did you not say anything because she's pretty? No, I am not security here. It's not your problem. Yeah, not my problem. 
<laughs> Maybe not, but these people feel it is. And clearly, they're not charmed by her sticky fingers. They alert the manager. Did you see your tank? A t shirt and this yellow shirt. Which yellow shirt? One after the other. You're positive you saw this. Because yeah. I don't want to do anything unless you're sure. No, she did it like three times. I saw it three times. Okay. Her good looks doing nothing to stop these good Samaritans. See, they had a track to go. Yeah. Look at her leather purse. She's got a hat in there. She says he's mistaken. Somebody here said that, that you put something in your bag. No, absolutely not. I must have the wrong person. But that's not the way James Cromer saw it. It was a hand. So basically, you want to you kind of took off from about that back. man that okay. checked the length on your side. If you had goggles on, I saw you place it in your purse. Look, I don't work here. It feels pretty tight. But you, I'm sure you wouldn't have any problems then opening your purse for the show. I'm not going to show you my purse. This is my personal stuff. This isn't any of your business. Okay, maybe I made a mistake, but I doubt it. As the manager steps out... What are you? A goody two-shoes? By your definition, probably so. We step in. So are you, sir? You're told. You're told. <laughs> <laughs> but you were right, I am a goody two-shoes. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't matter if she was a plain Jane or beauty queen. People spoke up when they saw our thief headed down that slippery slope.